I am Prof. Revi Ratha Prasad, Principal, Velagapudi Ramakrishna Siddhartha Engineering College, Vijayawada, Andhra Pradesh. Established as first private self-finance engineering college in the combined state of AP and Telangana in the year 1977. And also first college to get autonomous status from UGC in 2006. And also first in AP to get accreditation of its programs offered by NBA since 1998. VRSCC is offering industry relevant flexible curriculum since 2017 with focus on choice-based credit system where the students can choose and complete the courses of higher semesters in advance to spend full time in industry or completing their inter internship or project work. The other features of curriculum include offering open electives which are multidisciplinary and humanities in nature, soft skills courses for effective communication and personal development and mandatory courses such as environment studies, professional ethics and practice, Indian constitution and Indian knowledge tradition presently being offered as technology and society in the first year of undergraduate curriculum. In our curriculum, we have been introduced open electives. There are multidisciplinary courses such as Industry 4.0, AI and ML, IoT, VLSI and MLX systems, etc. Me being a CEC student and having the opportunity to choose uh, from multidisciplinary courses, I have chosen VLSI and Embedded Systems which gave me an opportunity to uh, learn how to integrate software components and hardware components. In fourth semester, that is in second year, the curriculum has EPICS, that is Engineering Project in Community Services, where teams of students go to the society and identify problems related to local community such as agriculture, health and other services to find out solutions for the betterment of their life. This can also be extended as mini or major project in 7th and 8th semesters of the undergraduate program for the development of full scale prototype or design or software or product. to share the experience that I had throughout my PICS project. As a part of this, we identified that the reason for poor crop yield for most of the farmers in our locality is the poor quality of seeds that they make use and that they procure from the seed mills. To tackle this, we developed a computer vision and deep learning based system that automatically predicts the percentage of purity in the seed lot. This helps the farmers by providing them with the information about the quality of the seeds and help them to take better farming decisions. As a part of our curriculum, we were offered both minors and honors courses. In honors, I selected full stack development stream. This stream gave me a comprehensive knowledge of various front end technologies which enabled me to create visually appealing and user friendly interfaces. I also gained hands on experience with Mern Stack, which acted as an added advantage while applying for major MNCs. We also have courses on innovation entrepreneurship, design thinking and the curriculum has provision of agent faculty where experts from industry are invited for delivery of part of the advanced courses across the disciplines in the campus. We have provision for self-learning through MOOCs courses such as through Swayam that is NPTEL, Coursera, edX etc. At present around 9 credits are transferred for every student out of 160 credits in the curriculum. The National Education Policy 2020 aims at 21st century requirements of the society to develop good, thoughtful, well-rounded and creative individuals. The provisions made in the curriculum and also the associated teaching learning process, assessment and evaluation to enhance student learning experiences will definitely bring all these qualities into the graduates who are rolling out of our institution. I would like to talk about student practice course and self-learning. I chose NSS and actively participated in various societal initiatives like blood donation camps, marathons, etc. With these activities, I have improved my leadership qualities, teamwork abilities and discipline. And also, I have been given a 9 credit transfer option through MOOCs from authorized platforms such as Swayam, Coursera and edX. 
In second and third year of our BTEC, we are offered industry standard coding course to enhance our coding skills. From this course, I improved my problem solving abilities to a greater extent and gained a hands on experience on programming languages like C, Java, and Python. This course helped me solve real world industry problems. It boosted my confidence so that now I can tackle different challenges in global coding platform. In addition, the institute introduced performance based April system for faculty. Since 2013, for assessment of the performance of the faculty to identify and maintain motivated, energized, and capable faculty for the development of the institution with respect to all dimensions that is, teaching, learning, research, development, and innovation, consultancy, and extension as per the institute strategic plan. This is also recognized as one of the best practices of the institution at all India level.